Okay. I'm Misha. Hi, Misha. Hi. Okay. So, it's... Going? We'll start. Good. <laughs> so, uh, this is your first day in Germany, right? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, how do you like it so far? Well, take a look around. It's here. I'll... Yeah. Uh, do you hear? Okay. Okay. Everything. Um, <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, look, it's pr pristine river. Uh, the sun is shining. It's warm. It's warm enough that I'm sweating. Uh, the grass is green. The flowers are blooming. The birds are in the trees. It's paradise. Is this what Germany is always like? No. <laughs> Sadly, no. This, it, this is my impression that it's perfect. Yeah, right now it is, but. Um one week ago it was... Don't spoil it for me, I don't want to hear okay. it. Yeah, good. Uh, this is, I want this Paradise, this memory yeah. only, yeah. <laughs> good, and uh, how do you like the convention so far? Great, yeah. The fans, because you're uh, very um, active on Twitter. Yes. So what do the fans mean to you? Um, well, it's, uh, it's fascinating to see the different fans, um, the groups of fans at different, different conventions in different countries. Um, they're all a little different. Everybody here seems very nice and very enthusiastic, which is nice. It's, the enthusiasm is good. Um, and to answer your question, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what I think about any of this. I never imagined that I would be flying around and in Germany uh, and spending a weekend here and, and getting to meet a bunch of enthusiastic people. It's kind of cool. So I got to ask because I was yes, kind you of do. trigger um, what do you think uh, thought about the Alan prank he played on you <laughs> because do it you was floating on Twitter uh, uh, around a for a while it was this took a while to for, to actually yeah. surface <laughs> it's good I would love to see if I can get that photo to Ellen somehow yeah, she has no idea the power that she wields in the world yeah we actually have a petition uh, to get the cast of supernatural Really? On Ellen, yeah. There is a petition. That's hilarious. <laughs> How many signatories to your petition? Um, last time I checked, it was 300, 400. Not bad, like not bad. I wonder, I wonder what you need to get Ellen to actually listen. Well, the the goal is, I think, 10,000 is the goal. That's pretty. That's, that that should do it, right? Yeah, I hope so. It should. <laughs> so, um, so, what is uh, the most interesting part for you on playing Castiel? Um, I, I think the fact that he's not actually human, but that he's becoming more human over time, or beginning to understand what it means to be a human, I, that's the most interesting part, you know. Getting to, it's, it's like he gets to experience everything that a human being experiences for the first time. So there's like a child-like quality about him, like he gets to get drunk for the first time, and you know, gets to try to have sex for the first time and things like that, which is a lot of fun. So what's your wish for Castiel's storyline in the next season? Um, I, I hope that by the end of next season Castiel is president. Wouldn't that be nice? Yes. Like a, <laughs> like a 24 storyline worked into Cass's life. He's president and um, yes. That would be that would be good. Uh, so we are uh, making not only about Supernatural, but uh, we are talking about other TV shows as well. Do you watch other TV shows right now? Um, you know, the last show that I was really watching just finished in the U.S. airing. It's called Damages. Uh, have you seen it? Yes. You, she has. Yes. It's very good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, and I've also watched like yeah, not, I mean not. Oh. Um, I like 30 Rock. And Glee, you talked about I have Glee. seen a few episodes of Glee. I'm not, you know, maybe I, maybe I feel too guilty when I watch it to actually watch much of it. So I've seen just a couple episodes of Glee, but 30 Rock is very funny. Um, Flight of the Concords. Have you seen this? No. Look at this. I'm actually, I packed um, like warm jackets. I have a down vest. And I'm covered in sweat in a t-shirt. <laughs> okay.
Um, I think that's it. Okay. Or do you have um, one, one last yeah, question? Yeah, about uh, the last episode. Oh, yes. Of Supernatural aired last week. Okay. And it was, this was the last um, episode with Eric Kripke. Uh -huh. How was it to work with him and say goodbye? Well, Eric is still, Eric Kripke, the show creator, showrunner up until now, um, wrote the last episode of season five. And that was his last, I think, I think it's going to be his last episode as a writer on the show. I'm not positive about that. It's his last episode as the showrunner. Someone else, Sarah Gamble, is taking over that role. Um, but he's still going to be involved in the production. He's still going to have a relationship with production. So it's not like he's going to be gone. But he's stepping back so that he can do some other things. Um, so I'm not going to use the past tense too much talking about him. But it's great. He's a great guy to work with. He makes decisions like that. He knows exactly what he wants. And without that, I don't think the show would work at all. I mean, it's his, it's his brainchild. It's his creation. And it, and 522, the last episode of season five, was called Swan Song, which was sort of his swan song. And also, you can, I think, infer from the, the final script that Eric kind of sees himself as God. Yep. So yep. the term for that it, it, that we use in English is megalomaniacal. So you really think, uh, think Chuck is God? Well, Chuck is the writer, and so. the writer is God. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Thank you so much. For Thank you time. guys. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.